So this week I've been to Lidl for a change. I've spent £74.90. I usually go to Aldi. Been to Quality Save and spent £23.61. And then I went to the food warehouse and I spent in there three pounds. A couple of things I got from food warehouse. Um, four part bait rolls because I forgot to get them from Lidl and they didn't have any chicken sausages in Lidl. So I just nipped in to get them for me and I thought, seeing as I wasn't getting the cheap version anyway, <laughs> um, I would get a different flavour. So I got the spring chicken version. So then from Quality Says, picked up a couple of cards. Um, an umbrella because I can't seem to find mine and I need it later. Some paracetamol, some hair removal, some um, shower dry for the boys. Managed to find some slow cooker liners. I've been looking for those for ages, so I'm happy with those. Some tip and zip, pour and store type bags. Um, I really like them for when I'm putting, making batches of things and freezing them. Some drinks for the boys. Uh, I have stocked up on rice and lid up and I saw this in quality days and got that. What else did we get? Oh, another little sneaky bacon grill there in the back. These Maryland cookie bars got me at the till. Some, uh, a variety of different bars there for packed lunches during the week for the boys. The boys are back at school this week. I love the skin hoops of both sold and husband, so they don't last very long. And then I saw this and could not resist it. Tato on my absolute favourite uh, brand of crisp, especially spring onion. They were something like £1.99 for 12 then I got another few bags of crisps because we do go through quite a lot. And like I said, the boys take them to school with them. But everything else that I got in Lidl, and you'll have to excuse, because it's a bit messy around here. <laughs> Still uh, breakfast dishes around. So for non-food items, they had the flash bathroom that I like, um, assorted mints, some of these uh, little tablet things that you put in water. I got some eggs, I got two big milk, a squash, an apple squash there, two lemonades. I seem to have got an awful lot of um, dairy products this week, well, primarily cheese, but we do have a lot of cheesy dishes on the menu. So I've got the usual um, orange, mature grated, and then the lighter, some gorgonzola, that's for a recipe. So this, I wasn't on my list, but saw this and picked it up. I think that's probably one of the good things that Little House over Aldi, that they do have some branded items, which is nice. And this was the same. I saw that and picked that up. And the same with this. I couldn't resist that. So this is seriously spreadable um, cheese. And then I also got their version of like Philadelphia Lights, some cheese slices and some mozzarella. So it's all whizzing over here to the fruit and veg. So there's some salad at the back there. I think I've got another salad over there somewhere. And then these humongous butternut squash if you compare these to the ones that i had last week when i was cooking they're amazing if you look just look at the size of it compared to the aubergine <laughs> gives you an idea of how big they are and um, aubergine some courgettes a couple of courgettes some green beans some um mini cucumbers some sweet peppers mouse pepper mouse piper potatoes some i'm not sure if it's a baby from tomatoes carrots leeks this uh Kale, sliced Cavolo Nero kale. I don't know whether that's how you pronounce it. I just really like the look of that. I think we might have that tomorrow with our dinner. Some sweet salad, as I mentioned, some baby spinach. Whoops. And then for fruit, we've just got, we've got so quite a bit of fruit left over from last week. So just raspberries and easy peelers. Just bear with me. Amazing. And then this salmon was on offer. Has, well, reduced because it's um, out of date tomorrow, but we'll eat that. We'll, we'll I'll cook that and we can snack on that. Then I got a big uh, packet of chicken. So this is the one that's like £8 something because we, we've got quite a lot of chicken on the menu this week and I've completely run out. Well, I do tend to get chicken in a big box from um, Booker and then I'll just portion it out and freeze it but I'm, I've completely run out so I've just wanted to get that just so I've got some in. Some chicken legs which I will put in the oven for the dog. Mm. Some bacon and um, that's it for uh, fresh meat this week. Then I saw this as well and um, again I just thought I'd, it had uh, I can't remember how much it was, it was £3 something, but ended up being half price, I think, so it's about £1.50. Crispy pancetta macaroni cheese, and I just macaroni cheese, and I just like really nice. I'll chuck that in the freezer for an easy tea one night. Some ham, some chicken, and then we've just got bagels, bread, wraps, cheese pot rolls, and then I couldn't resist the cheese twist and get me every time. And then just over to store cupboard and freezer items. 
Um, oh, and some mini pepperonis for lunches this week. Some passata. I saw this chipotle um, Tabasco sauce. I love hot sauce, so that's for me. A couple of sugar-free um, jelly sachets. I did try and get some little pots from Colisee, but I couldn't find any, so I'll just have to use my own Tupperware because I'm just really, really snacky at the moment of an evening, so I'm going to try and make something that... Um, I can just snack on and it won't be too calorific and then some gold bars and then this is all the rice we got as the boys are back at school this week and my eldest son um, likes to take some rice and some chicken or um, some of the kind of meat um, for his lunches so we've got a whole host of here we've got Mexico and pilau and then I saw these Mediterranean style grains and I think there was a Middle Eastern style grains as well so they look really nice actually I'm not a huge rice fan and then a couple of frozen bits got potato wedges and just some chips right so I'll put all this away and then I'll run through the meal plan okay so it's actually a little bit later now I'm sorry um the kitchen got a little bit crazy um so i will go through our meal plan now and we've got a little friend back with us so it's saturday today but we're actually out later hence why i've got my makeup on now so we're not going to be eating at home today tomorrow sunday we're going to be having chicken parmigiana with um vegetables i might use that funny kale thing that i bought uh, I might have that with it and some other bits and pieces, veg, maybe a jack of potato for the boys, I'm not sure yet. On Monday, um, oh, it's a bit of a funny week this week actually, I'll explain more when I do my meal, uh, with the actual batch cooking tomorrow, but we are just it's just gonna be me and the boys this week eating and what I try to do, or what I do, what I do, do sometimes when that happens is I really go for the food I like, which is not always a food that the boys like. So I use it basically as an opportunity because I like really hot food and um, I like lots and lots of um, veg and things like that. So anyway, it's a long winded way of saying there's a couple of nights where we're having different meals this week where the boys will be having something and I'll be having something else. So on Monday, they're going to be having sausages in the slow cooker with gravy, mash and green beans. And I'm going to be having both on Monday and Tuesday. I'm gonna do a big batch of roasted vegetables and chicken sausages. I've actually just realized I didn't buy normal sausages as well. Oh, so I'm gonna to have to get those before I do that on Monday. So I'm gonna have in chicken sausages and veg with hot sauce and all that nice stuff. On Tuesday, the boys are gonna be having cheesy pesto gnocchi bake. So I got the the actual um, pesto filled gnocchi from Aldi last week so they're gonna have that and I found a recipe online that has some spinach and stuff it looks really nice on Wednesday we're having quesadillas probably just cheese chorizo um peppers uh, sweet corn and then on Thursday me we were having the same myself and the boys were having creamy chicken and tomato chorizo bake probably with some garlic bread on the side as well and that takes us up to Friday. Friday I always tend to just see how I feel on the night um, and take it from there. Sorry I've got the dog again. Say hi with his antler. <laughs> um, anyway I'm gonna leave that there so I'll see you in the next one.